What's going on, internerds? We're going on an adventure. Come on. So I'm gonna show you how to make your own floating text that can go over a backdrop or your actual video. So your text, you're gonna make it into a PNG file. And PNGs are cool because any PNG image you have, you can also include as a picture in a picture and have it float around. And this is getting pretty meta, but this image I have right here, you can tell it's a PNG because the speech bubble is a PNG and the scumbag Steve hat is a PNG. And I dragged and dropped all of those into the frame using preview. So let's switch over to preview. All right, what you're gonna want is a clean slate like this, which is empty. Preview doesn't let you make one of those on your own. So I'm gonna show you how to get there. What you have to do is you need to open any image in preview. It doesn't matter which. So here's one that I like. So you just click on it, do Command A, so, you know, to select all, and then you press Delete. And here's the beautiful part. It says convert document to a PNG. You say yes. This canvas here happens to be 1080p. What's cool about that is whatever you type in there, you know how big it's going to appear on the screen. So first things first, here's the text box. You can adjust the size here if you like. I happen to love the color seafoam. So, so here you can make your text. Do you want it bigger? Try 300. Yeah. All right, and you, you might wanna keep reusing this canvas. So what I do is I will keep exporting it as something new. So just say export and then say subscribe, right? Subscribe PNG. What's cool about when you have a memorable file name is you can easily conjure it here. So let me just fast forward to later on in my pitch. Let's say it's coming to an end and I want that PNG I just made. You just open up Spotlight, which is, if you don't know, it's Command Space. That's one of my favorite shortcuts. And just say subscribe. All right, here it is. Subscribe PNG. And you can just drag and drop that directly where you want it. And I think it's so beautiful. And you can adjust how long it's going to stay. And just for some bonus points while you're here, it never hurts to go too big when you're making it because you can come up here and you can make it a picture in a picture. And that way you have full control over the size and, you, and the location too. So that is something really cool. Whatever you do with it, once you have the PNG is up to you, but that is how you can remedy this, this awful fade, which during an elevator pitch, your time matters. So you just gotta be direct to the point about it. All right, thanks for checking it out. I hope I hope you enjoyed it, and of course, if you found this useful and you want to get some more useful Mac tips, subscribe. All right, thanks. Bye.